Hey, how's everyone doing out there? I hope you're uh, finding a lot of good stuff. I want to show you one of my favorite finds of all the picking I've done over the past few years. Uh, this is just a neat, neat find. I was at auction the other day and I found this box. It was in a bit larger box of a uh, box lot of things uh, like glassware and that sort of thing which I normally don't buy a lot of but there some, were some nice pieces in there for my flea market and this was on the top and I had not had a chance I was running late and I didn't have a chance to really look at stuff ahead of time and I ran up there and was looking in nobody seemed interested in the box lots and um, so I went up there and I saw this box and it it had a bunch of papers and things in it and I said, well, they're, they're old papers and things. So I think, hey, I'm, I'm going to jump on it and see what, what the uh, box lot goes for. <laughs> I got the box lot for $3. $3. This box was in it, and it was full of papers. As you can see, it's an old candy United Candy Company box. Probably turn of the century, about 1910, according to the papers that are in it. That'd be about right. <laughs> And actually there's some older papers but we'll get to that in a minute uh, first there's some uh, what you call forget-me-not cards and little greeting cards uh, this is a New Year's card from way back when the Easter greeting card Merry Christmas Happy New Year a little forget-me-not card check this one out one of my favorites uh, nothing written on the back just a just a card and as you can see it's it's raised it's not just uh, printed on there it's actually raised uh, you can tell on the back there just a cool little piece another little uh, Christmas card um, a coloring paper <laughs> just looking at it you can tell it's it's kind of dated uh, it would have folded up looks like um, a couple different ways but because they're kind of these are turned this way and then these are turned another way somebody had already started coloring on it way back when it was probably this young fella right here who got these three cards and let me show you what they are this is hilarious reward card for Joe Ellis Ray for not whispering for 10 days <laughs> check that out there's three of them another reward card for Joe Ellis Ray for not whispering for 10 days <laughs> and another one reward card for Joe Ellis Ray for not whispering for 10 days three of them isn't that just the coolest I got them upside down there in it were all these these uh, stamps they the ones that I kind of look uh, I, I I think most of these are from just around the turn of the century, about 1910 or something like that, um, from what I can tell. I, I don't know what these little merit cards are. It's got a name on one of them, Della Kempler or something anyway, but a little merit type card. I, anybody know what those are for? Please let me know. Interesting. A little candy wrapper. Alright, we got a letter. This one is not dated. The others I'm going to show you in just a minute are dated. This is actually not just a, not a letter, but I think it's sermon notes. Uh, the, whole, the whole letter deals with baptism uh, and, and all the different details of different types of baptism and all that kind of stuff. Just really a neat little read. Check out how neat the writing is. Isn't that cool? A, a Sword of Truth publication. Uh, volume 1, number 10, it does have a, I thought it had a date on it. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm wrong. Doesn't, that one doesn't have a date. Just some little uh, cut out of, new, of a newspaper. Anybody know what these things are? Um, it has Governor Thomas C. Rye, Representative in Congress H.H. H. Hanna, Railroad Commissioner of the State of Tennessee Middle Division, George Welch, and Senator, there's no name there, Representative in General Assembly, Assembly D.J. Britton. I'm assuming that these are ballot cards. I've got a bunch of them. Nothing on the back, and that's all it has is these names and what positions they are. I'm assuming they're ballot cards. Anybody else uh, have an idea, let me know. Had a railroad ticket. Check that out. Louisville and Nashville Railroad Co Company. Excuse me. May 17, 1913. Greenback, Tennessee. 
check that out greenback tomato cool piece um, just a, a letter with a, a stamp on it well it's just an envelope with a stamp express company um, receipt for something they got check this out Boy Scouts of America membership card from 1918 isn't that not cool 1918 also got these two Sunday school picture lesson cards published um, quarterly by the American Baptist uh, publication this one is dated September of 1910 and this one is dated March 9th and it's uh, in 1913 two picture lesson cards for Sunday school how about that um, got a, a New Year's greeting card this is the same as this one this was closed up and this is what it looks like opening opened up New Year's greeting card got some booster coupons don't know what they're for this is 25 that's a hundred that's a thousand I have no clue what those are uh, just a little receipt there another just a, a envelope with the, the stamp embossed on there two little neat forget-me-not cards check those out that one's real pretty a Christmas card a little forget-me-not Christmas card you can see the date on there Knoxville December uh, 1910 all right now as for the letters this one I can't read that I can't read the date I have no idea but I'm telling you what these letters are interesting reading uh, but my favorite uh, out of all the things you've just seen are these two letters right here this one is dated February 11th 1870 and this one is dated 1866 March 20th of 1866 Franklin County Kansas and this in this letter talks it gives you uh, prices for different items um, this time of the year everything is very high and money very plenty clothing is very high but I have none of that to buy bacon is now 25 cents corn 50 cents milk cows are thirty dollars two-year-old steers thirty five dollars suckling pigs five dollars a piece sheep five dollars per head and geese are very high for the, they're scarce it just goes on and on and then it goes and it talks a little bit about the uh, it says on this back uh, talking about the the uh, being out out west in in Kansas it says for all this inter interesting to us in this distant far west among the Yankees Indians wolves rattlesnakes <laughs> tell us all about them rebels Old Barter Dan Taylor, Wall Edmondson, the Dyers, and my tried old friend Jesse Kerr, I am truly sorry that as smart a man would have done so, Lafitte Kerr, I never want to see that was a family I respected. But contrary to my idea, they went astray. <laughs> Tell me that is not the neatest letter you've ever seen. Maybe not the neatest one you've seen, it's the neatest one I've come across. All that was in that one box. The neatest find I've, I've come across in the past few years. Hey, I hope y'all are finding a lot of things. I am finding stuff. I'm out there out there working at it. Um, I, 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 I know I hadn't been on in a while, but uh, I, I am, I'm keeping busy. Hey, y'all, love God, love others.